I'm Miranda Cosgrove and I'm here in the Naked Brothers Band set. I'm actually going to be on the show, so I'm really excited about it. And I actually have a love interest in the episode who I kiss, so that's pretty cool. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. I hope you guys like it when it comes out. Okay, so I'm going to say the name of a, like one of your friends on Nickelodeon, and then I want you to say the first thing that you think of. Okay, sounds good. Nathan Cress. Wacky. <laughs> Jeanette McCurdy. Funny. Jerry Trainer. Um, crazy. <laughs> Nat Wolf. Um, sweet. Alex Wolf. Hysterical. <laughs> Allie D'Amico. Um, really nice. That's two words, but sorry. <laughs> Josh Peck. Um, all these people are so funny. I want to say funny for all of them. Um, let's see. Awesome. <laughs> Drake Bell. Cool. <laughs> Emma Roberts. Um, I love Nancy Drew, but I don't know. I can't think of a word. Um, um sweet. <laughs> Victoria Justice. Um, cool. Again, sorry. And Kiki Palmer. <laughs> um, awesome singer and really nice. That's a lot of words. Bye! I'm Miranda Cosgrove. A lot of people have been saying that Nat Wolf and I are dating, but really we're just good friends, so it's kind of funny. I just thought I'd throw up the rumors. Hey Miranda, we want to know if you were nervous when David Archuleta guest starred on iCarly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was a little nervous to meet him, and I usually don't get starstruck or anything, but I watch American Idol, and I just think he's like an amazing singer, so when he came on the set, I was freaking out, and so were all the other girls on the set. They were like screaming and going crazy, and he was just so nice and really like down to earth and fun to hang out with. It was really fun. Do you have any tips on snagging a summer crush? Oh, tips on snagging a summer crush. Um, ask him to go to the beach with you. Um, it's summery and a lot of fun. And also you don't have to like, it's kind of loud at the beach, so you don't have to. If you see something really embarrassing, you can just kind of look at the ground or, and bring some friends with you. That's always good. A funny prank that happens on the iCarly set, it's not really a prank, but Jerry, every single day, he makes this face. I wish he was here to do it for you, but it's just like this hysterical, like, Jim Carrey-esque face he makes. And everybody on set just starts laughing, and, like, the people, like, the directors and stuff try to get mad, but they can't, because, like, he just keeps making the face. So then everybody just starts, like, cracking up on set, and he does it probably once or twice a day. So we're going to have a really great blooper reel at the end of the season. Okay, here's a good joke. <laughs> What's Irish and sits outside? Patio furniture. Very good. Oh, and this season I've been telling a lot of like dorky jokes on the show all the time. It's my new thing. Because normally uh, Jerry's character Spencer tells all the like dorky jokes that are kind of cheesy. But now this season I've been getting to do it, so it's been a lot of fun. If I could kiss anybody, I would probably pick James Franco. Hey guys, Miranda here. Um, my crazy first date story is um, I really liked this guy in like fifth grade. And he asked me and my best friend and then his best friend also went. He asked me to Disneyland and we all went. It was like a double date. And um, it was really sweet. They actually won us um, these little like bears. And my friend and I still have them. Um, so it was just like a really fun, sweet first date. My mom actually went too. A good reason that you should tune in to I Party with Victorious is um, at the end of the episode, the finale, uh, we all get to sing. And it was really fun. Everybody gets a chance to sing a line. So I hope you like it. If I got signed tonight, I would be happy about it. Bring it on. I've been signed four times and it leaves you a little green. But other than that, it's pretty funny.